Agenda, agenda, and intro question. No. Oh yeah, I I got one. What 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 params are you? So uh, uh, like, what's your favorite hatch params? So and agenda topics. So for me, the agenda topics are always the same. See if there's any votes. Uh, updates on Celeste and Gardens, uh, and um, you know the hatch debate parties are happening. You know, we'll just talk about all the normal things that I just give updates on, or try to solicit updates. And and for what I want to vote for, honestly, 83. I, I can't get it. I love 83. I also split my votes between 83 and 8 and a little bit of 4.5. You know, because with the quadratic, you get so many. I want to vote for three of them. And so you, you get so many extra points boost to quadratic stuff. So I voted for 83 is going to get, like, push. And then 8, the last little bit. And I'll pass it to Nugget. Yeah. Um, my favorite uh, parents are also, are also 83. I kind of changed my mind during the debates. I started being uh, strongly in favor of number 80. But, uh, yeah, I changed my mind. I think I'm now on the 83 camp, and I'm kind of dividing my votes between the both of them, but I think I'll go with the extra votes to 83. And, yeah, agenda, just think up, see what can be done. Um, yeah, mainly that. And I'll pass it to um, Tui. Thank you, Nagan. Um, uh, proposals. Um, Number 83 really is like, like, yeah, like that, like jealous girlfriend meme that I, that I used in my community call. Like it's, it's looking great. Um, but, <laughs> but it's just like, oh my God, like 80 is such a safe zone for me because I'm very, very concerned about the DAO parameters in 83. Like, I really, really have this specific concern about attracting a lot of backers and not giving enough weight on builders and relying on on high support for the proposals. It's just like I, 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 I I'm, I'm anticipating like some discussions there, and like for me, eighty is like a, a safe zone regarding that. It's like I like the params, I like the DAO uh 83 like it, it it's so balanced and it reaches for the stars I, like i don't care about the hatch period anymore uh, i like 83 but the dow params are they make me nervous they make me nervous because uh we might like lose some time there so 80 80 so far is like the safest zone but we still have some debates so i'll see um agendas uh, agenda topics uh just uh sync pretty much and uh catch up with with gardens like i i i have been trying to uh see what's like like uh i know that you sent uh some 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 stuff going on in in, in Rinkeby, uh griff that i like wanted to like check out but i i think i like missed it so i would really really like to sync with uh with what's going on in there so i can uh get involved i i really like uh what's going on in gardens and uh, yeah, that's it. Sorry, it took so long, but I I got political. I'm sorry. I pass it to uh, Fabi. Well, uh, well, uh, seems that I, I, I we need to uh, take another look because I was in love with with the uh, number eighty. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, at the moment, uh, number eighty was my favorite, but uh, I will need. Uh, to take a, a, a another look at ID3. ID3. Uh, then uh, um, my intentions for this call is to sync up with all of you as usual. Uh, try to 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 give us a, 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 an update from the Garden team. And on on a side note, probably at the middle of the of the call, I will need to jump out. Uh, I need to be uh, COVID tested today at some point, so I'm waiting for the doctors. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all. I will be passing to Sam. That's cool. My mother got the vaccine today, which is great news, actually. Um, okay. 
regarding the 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 params, I am not informed enough, so I I'm not going to say which is my preference since I not get informed, which probably is the more responsible thing to do. And regarding uh, the agenda topics, let's see what is missing in the hatch part and update on the bonding curve part. Regarding the hatch part, I think that, well, uh, we can um, talk about that in the, um, in the point, but basically the demo that we did the other day didn't reach the minimum goal, so um, it's in refund right now, and because we had a very little time to refund, the die are locked there. And oh there is no! no <laughs> we just and... locked everyone's money. Oh man, we stuck. <laughs> oh no! What did I do? I put a hundred k in this. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> It's just he died. <laughs> yeah, okay. But come on, we we were putting 16 hours or so, and it was yesterday, and it was a man on Monday, right? I, I didn't check it correctly. Maybe it's today, it's today and we can uh, still recover. Uh, I don't everyone. want my money back. No worries, no worries, I can create new TDI for you. <laughs> oh my god, perfect, perfect, that'll work. Okay, and especially the interesting part is the, is the bonding pool, but then I will give some updates. I will pass it to Iscariote, Isca, Iscanore. If you are here. Yes, Canore. Okay, hey, if you are here, uh, just say hi and I will pass it to Paolo. Thanks, Sam. Uh, my favorite proposal, uh, I will have to say it's uh, number 80. Uh, I think it has a higher hatch attribute uh, than the, the top one. And uh, But the thing that I really don't like about the top proposals Right now, it's the high uh, hatch period. I think a month is too much for me, but uh, I really like the number 80. Um, and agenda topics for today, uh, sync with you guys, um, talk about the hatch, and, uh, oh, and about the refund. Uh, I tried to do it today also, and it failed, so I think <laughs> we lost. <laughs> All the funds, but anyway, <laughs> I'll pass it to uh, Septi. Thank you, Paolo. Oh, I want my today back. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, my favorite proposal is 4.5, even if it's not getting that much love. <laughs> and I actually voted on all of them, but uh, the 83, which I started to like them, and it's my second favorite proposal, even if I didn't vote on that, because that shows how important it is to join the Params debates, because after hearing, especially Lauren, I feel like this proposal is really good, and I'm super happy like it's winning, and uh, I don't have any agenda topics, and I'll pass it, uh, maybe it's if you're back. Hi, I'm left. Uh, so, uh, yeah, about the params and the proposals, I, 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 I don't know enough. I'm still pretty new. So, I, 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 I can't say anything. So, uh, about agenda topics, also, I know, I think I've been doing some, some work on the, on the front end. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also changed my nick, so I don't get confused. We don't get confused with Paulo. I don't. I think you can call me Paul. Uh, <laughs> I think that would be okay. So yeah, that's pretty much. It. 
Cool. Perfect. I'm glad to hear some dissent from the best proposal, 83, that other people have other opinions. It's very good. No, I'm just Anyway, uh, this is cool. There are two more. There's two more hatch debates. I thought there was a hatch debate. I thought there was another one today. But, oh, no, there were two today, and they already happened. So there's one more tomorrow, and we're going to record it. And so definitely come and check it out. It'll be re it's really uh, you don't. Want and if you want to, uh, I think Zeptimus will take on 4.5. Uh, and Chewy, I don't know which one you want to take on, but uh, I'll take 80. You'll take 80? Yeah. Nice. Or 83, maybe. I don't know. I, I'm afraid I might antagonize it. Lo uh, yeah, Lauren, Lauren's, no been really good at, Lauren's been really good at 83. I, I got to let, let her take it. She convinced two people in the call, just small, a small sample size. But uh, so, so uh, and then I'll take eight if no one else, if I can't find someone, take it. But I probably can find uh, Cool. So then let's do votes. Uh, anybody, d do we have a vote up? Oh my god, I forget. Uh, at the end of the call, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, I can, yeah, we can move to the end of the call. Perfect. Uh, and then, I know, uh, Fabi, you said that you have to leave early, so let's just jump straight to Garden. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, this past week, uh, we were most uh, fixing uh, bugs on, on Garden. Um, Gabby is doing a really good job. Uh, uh, um, um, getting all the data from the different DAO. Uh, I know that uh, we have some suggestions uh, also uh, from Giver that we are taking in account. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty good to go. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't have, uh, I, I, we don't have like a, a, a date. Um, but yeah, most of, most of the important bugs are fixed. And, and we are taking in account some suggestions from the different DAOs. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, it's uh, pretty much uh, uh, everything uh, wrapped up. Yeah, I, I guess I can give the updates on on the Giveth experience. Holy shit, it's so beautiful. You guys did such a good job. Wow. My whole team is just like, oh my God, we get to, we, get, we have a Giveth garden? I mean, we made a meme. It's like a little giveth plant, you know, a little yeah. bee will be coming, pollinating the giveth. Uh, it's really nice, man. Uh, we're so happy. Thank you so much. And Gabby has been such a joy to work with. I do have a question about the um, challenge amount. First off, how the hell do we get honey, t test honey? And, and why do we need test honey for the cha to make the challenge? Shouldn't the, the challenge be in give tokens? Go ahead, Tim. Um, I can explain. Basically, it's uh, in the both models, in the bring your own token and in the um, issuance token, the first thing that you have to do is to provide uh, a little bit of liquidity because the, um, the gardens don't have this bonding curve that allow you to create or destroy tokens. It uh, all the tokens are going to be um, the the gardens is going to be ado adopted, but basically buying tokens on a kind of Uniswap. Um, if it's in next day, it's going to be Honeyswap, and this is why you need to provide at least a, a the starting um, the starting liquidity, and it's also a way that you provide some, uh, let's say, interest in being connected to OneHive because having the, the tokens connected through liquidity, um, it gives a signal that we trust in Honey and in some way if Honey goes up, our tokens go up and more or less in the other way. So what it is requested is at least one hundred dollars in in honey to start with. That's the minimum required. And the higher the liquidity you have with honey, 
the higher you appear in the list of gardens. That's the other thing. So this is the, the, the decision taken on how to, to display gardens. And this is what Paulo was doing in his pull request to the, the graph. That was to list the gardens based on the liquidity. Yeah, that makes, uh, that makes perfect sense. But what about, what about like the challenge amount? Because like, you know, you have to put a deposit in give token, but then they have you match with honey if you want to challenge. Okay, the challenge for Celeste in that case is. Well, it's not technically Celeste. It's disputable, right? You're you're making that first dispute, and then you should be able to make that dispute to say, "Oh yeah, you can take your thing, deposit back." It's just a bad proposal. Like, I uh, think that this this is because uh, it's the default, but probably we can we can ask tomorrow in in the Garden Swarm. Uh, how to change it. I think that it's a configurable para, uh, parameter or maybe not. Maybe the configurable thing is the amount of honey, but not honey itself. Actually, Gabby is here. We can ask you, Gabby. Hey, Gabby. Hey. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Uh, actually, and Lauren's here too, and Lauren made the issue. Uh, there's a, we're wondering about the, in gardens, how uh, the challenge you know, there's you put down a deposit, an action deposit or whatever, and then there's the challenge fee, and like if you can use something besides honey, uh, you know, if you can just use give tokens as the challenge amount to make it easy for the community to challenge things, and then of course then they need to put up honey and then put up honey to go to Celeste, right? But right now and... the challenge amount is in honey. The challenge amount, you mean the 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 fees for, for the challenge or, or not the not the collateral? Not the well, collateral. Mm. Actually there is the collateral and, and then there is the action amount and current amount amount. And I think that everything is by default in honey. But I don't know which things can be sent and which things not. I think that the there is a kind of fee that you give to Celeste that it must be in honey, right? Yeah, yeah the, and that's that's the that's the only one that needs to be in the, in honey. So but do you need do you need how does the flow go? So I thought it was I make a proposal, hmm. I put up a deposit with give tokens. Then someone challenges yeah. me and I thought they yeah. they they challenged with give tokens. But no, they challenge with honey. They need a challenge. They say, hey, this is doesn't match the covenant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because when you challenge, you are actually uh, sending the the fees for the dispute to, to, to start. That those will be returned if, if the other person accept the, the, your your. Uh, I mean, it's a, if he if he accept the I don't know, recall the name, but the what you you propose the dispute uh, settlement. I mean, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, if they accept the settlement, that that, that amount that you are putting on, on in, in dispute fees are returned to you. But that's re that's required because uh, if the other person is accepting the the challenge and going to rise to Celeste, then uh, that's immediately done, and and those fees are used to 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 start the the, the process. So maybe but, uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm misunderstanding the hmm. steps because I thought it was yeah. someone puts down someone makes a proposal, it has a deposit. Someone challenges that proposal, and I thought hmm. they would challenge with the same amount of the deposit of the same token. And then this person would be like, "No, that's not true. I'm putting up honey." And then this per someone else, I think it can be this person or someone else, put up honey. And that there was this, like, actually, like, four deposits. But it, are there only three? Um, or, like, tell me, what, how does the process go if it escalates all the way to still Yeah. And you need, you are creating the, the annual proposal. 
I and for that you need to uh, put Cadra in the in your garden. That will be in the token of the community. And for every proposal you're creating, you need to to use that uh, to put that uh, same amount of collateral. Then, if someone's uh, challenge your 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 current proposal, she he also need to uh, need to also uh, put a, a collateral uh, as well in the same amount to create the, this challenge. But at the same time, they need to uh, start the put a, a portion of the dispute fees. In, in honey at the same time and mm. i wonder if that maybe if you, if you think that's not uh, a great uh, flow we can discuss it not, not sure how how uh, tight that might be to the to how things are, are raised to celeste but to continue with the process then uh, once you do that this uh, goes to a settlement period where the the person that is that have created the the initial proposal has the chance to accept your settlement or raise to Celeste. If he accept the settlement, then uh, his collateral is uh, lost and sent to the challenger. And also, uh, your the collateral that the challenger put is also returned for to him. And also, the, the dispute fees are returned to him as well. So that's. Uh, one of the, the possible actions. The other action is you you want to raise to Celeste, so you need to add a, a bit more of uh, dispute fees, and that's uh, how you raise to Celeste the, the whole. But yeah, I, I we can I, discuss I, it with with yeah. uh, with I Will. Also, also because I think you are kind of uh, right that that the challenger no necessarily might need to to add the dispute fees. Yeah, but, I, but yeah. I think that's it's an interesting point that you make, right? Because it is a lot easier for the challenger just to, if they have honey to just add yeah. both right then and not have to come back to add more honey if there's a dispute later. You know, yeah. it's a nicer UX to just do it. But then hmm. the other the other side of it is, well, if you, you don't honey. have honey, then yeah. you you're not going to dispute a proposal that needs to be disputed, you know. And so hmm. then it's like, oh crap. Um, no, maybe so, mm, yeah. Well, well, maybe this. I, I made an yeah. issue. It's issue one thirty eight, and we can discuss it in the, it's in the garden. Yeah. Or sorry, definitely. Lauren. Lauren made. It. Yeah, definitely. Let's let's have a, a wide discussion. Maybe it can be included in the next when the settlement uh, if they if they raise to Celeste, maybe other then uh, the option to add it there. But but yeah, cool. As a final yeah. step. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we'll talk about it. In the... Okay, thanks, Gabby. Any actually, do you sure. have any other updates for um, for gardens since since you're here? Um, no, we are we are working on the feedback that you the. Giveth uh, provide us with the testing they've done so far, and uh, yeah, we are working on that to add a, a requirement for the forum to forum link to be customizable and also uh, improve the error message that if you re try to request more than ten percent of the founds in a in a in a vote, you can't do it, and uh, yeah, just to have a more clear uh, message there. And I guess, uh, okay, I have given things about, that's a different call. Um, okay, so let's, let's keep, then let's keep going. Is there any, anything that we need to ask Gabby about gardens? And before we were talking about the uh, making token engineering commons, the commons upgrade at gardens and just having the uh, bring your own token gardens. Is there any uh, development on that, on that front, Sam? Or, uh, but. Yeah, this is this is something that I I was talking with Paulo the other day, that we have two options in front of us. One is to fork everything regarding um, regarding the gardens template and do our own commons template and never go back to not making it so much compatible with gardens. But the other thing, Gabby, is 
that we can make a customized gardens to the comma. Uh, because most of it has the same structure, the only part that is changing, that I don't know if it's a, it's a deal breaker for, for gardens, it will be that uh, a commons has two tokens, dealing with two tokens. One is the governance token, and the other is the uh, common f um, the funding pool token. Hmm. And this is the the only thing that uh, we will need uh, to to change in the in the gardens template in order to make it compatible with with commons. But because um, now that you can bring your own token and actually change the um, the garden itself with voting to to have different policies. It might have sense to say that a uh, commons is an upgraded garden and we could say let we, we will do a commons upgrade. <laughs> um, and it will make things more integrated with gardens and, and one hive and also easier uh, for for common swarm because we could just think on the on the bonding curves, and um, it will be a gardens, and we will we will focus on the top part of it, uh, which will be changing the issuance policy by a, a, a bonding curve. But I I don't know. Um, it may, maybe it it breaks the the concept that uh, the garden swarm was having about gardens and. This is why I want to bring it tomorrow to the call. Um, the conviction voting uh, can accept these two different parameters, and actually the first conviction voting applications had, uh, was dealing with two different uh, tokens for conviction voting. But yeah, um, this is something that probably we have to discuss together. Do you have any thought on that? On on that specifically and on how I should ask about it, maybe tomorrow in the call, that's okay? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a, a great point. And I would say um, that we need to uh, make sure that uh, yeah, the new template is, is compatible in every way, but I think it should be. I, I think before we have some uh, that there was there were some uh, points raised about trying to be careful and of not trying to create uh, too much of customization for for every kind of uh, uh, kind of possible organization that you can create with with, with the Aragon apps. But I, but I believe that what Tech Tech is doing for Commons is a really good uh, extra type of garden that can that can be supported. So. So I think it's great for 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 also onboarding new users. Uh, might be easier to have a single UI, and uh, yeah, we can co collaborate afterwards to also create a, a good experience for the onboarding to to make clear uh, the different settings you have. But, but yeah, definitely let's let's keep the also discussing it tomorrow. But I think it's quite uh, a good compatible. The, the, the only thing that is changing is is this specific part that the the template should have a new parameter, which is the request token, and also the the front end of the gardens should have that um, that case into account that the funding pool could, could be in, a, in another token that is not the garden one, but which I. I, I understand that it's something that changes uh, some things that are not. It's not as okay. Let's change as the the template and that's all. It changes more things, but um, probably it's it's interesting to discuss tomorrow. Uh, for us, it will be super cool because we. It it is also interesting that all the commons that we create are compatible with gardens. That would be super cool. No, yeah. I, yeah, definitely. I think even better to if you if you have in mind to keep improving the the gardens 
the website having more uh, the the power to do that uh, in the future is is also great. So so yeah, uh, and, I, and I agree that probably the best is to deploy a new template uh, for for the this kind of garden, and then uh, do the updates on the front end and and the subgraph to to support it. But, but yeah, it's, it will not be a, it will not not be a different template if we change the garden template. Accept this this only change. Because okay. after that, after that, we could upgrade with a vote to change the issuance for a bonding curve. Okay. Ah, okay. Nice. I, um, yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, let, let, let's discuss it then tomorrow, the more technical aspects. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Amazing. Well, thanks for popping in, Gabby. And However, sure. there are there are other things. Are, are there any updates from Celeste or Honeypot that we should uh, just be aware of? I assume not. No, no news is good news. Did anyone hear anything bad about Celeste? No. Okay, cool. No, no. Uh, so uh, then, hatch pram debates. If you guys can come to the one tomorrow, it's the last one. It's at what time was it, Zep? Do you remember? Uh, it's before uh, comps. It's five p.m. Uh, 5 PM yeah, five p.m. Five yeah, five p.m. Europe time. So if you guys can make it to a debate, uh, if if you've already know who how you're voting, then you don't obviously you don't have to come to a debate. But if you're still wondering how how we should parameterize the hatch and you haven't been part of the political process that is the participatory economics, uh, this will be enlightening. So. Uh, you know, giving power to the people isn't as clean as you'd like. Political. Uh, and and it's really interesting. So definitely try to come to the last debate. Uh, Zepp will record it. And, yeah. Also, tomorrow we, can, we are starting to discuss the covenant for TEC in SoftGov. So I think that it's also an interesting discussion. And something that we need for the common to grade. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, soft gov for covenant. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, sorry. No, no. I was. I I will add something at the end. But... Okay. Uh, well, next is is the board. So uh, Sam, you had mentioned there's. Oh, I'm not sharing my screen. Uh, some you had mentioned that there's some uh, some some what's missing in the hatch. You want to... mm. what what is missing in the hatch? Uh, if you are if you share your screen, it's it's going to be better. If it's it was already there. Ma mainly, I I saw that we have the the animation not not the animation video the community video. Uh, I was I was wondering how is the animation video process. Because if I have to be sincere, I would prefer the the community video in the hatch page. Um, uh, we are but... almost there with the interview video, and uh, we're jumping into production for the animated one this week. So yeah, we'll soon have uh, both options. But the one you like, it's on the other side, Sam. So it's worst case scenario, uh, we have one already. Okay, and the and the text is um, ready to go, or it needs the uh, FAQ. The text is ready to go. Uh, we just have one small update. We'd like to include uh, 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 an organizational board that that uh, Tam has been working on with Joe. It's really really cool, and it really describes like the whole hatch. So I just uh, asked her uh, some some hours ago. Uh, that's the only detail. Everything else is already done. Uh, we even added like the the, the markdown uh, collapsible thing in the FAQ. So yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 uh, pretty much ready. And Lauren wanted to say something. No, no. no. Okay. I think Lauren worked on the text. I'm just going to say what uh, it said. 
and then we had this refund thing is probably something we also need to settle out for the for the hatch or or did we we had a successful refund before this if we can have a, a successful refund yeah did we already then, have one before yes we yes Okay, that sounds like that sounds like a, a, a kind of a yes. Maybe maybe we should have one with the hatch free. Uh, it, 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 yeah, yeah. It, it was not in a demo, but it has been uh, tested a lot um, in 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 other circumstances. Maybe yes, we can have it. I am tired to go to deploy and deploy and deploy different DAOs, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This one, I don't really like that we have to do again, but it would be pretty bad if we had this fail and then we had another fail. Yeah. Oh, God. I would probably, that would be really bad. Probably we can have different rehearsals, like one that is going to fail, one that is going to, to pass. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so we'll add that to the mix, and update on the ABC. Okay, the update on the ABC, um, what different things we are having. We are having the dashboard uh, that Marco is uh, starting to design. Uh, we have the the Solidity code, which last week I took all the the the, uh, the market the one hive marketplace has three applications or four. I think that it's yeah, it was four applications, pre-sale. Bancor Formula, Market Maker, and Marketplace Controller, which was crazy. To install everything, it was really crazy, okay? And imagine to install it using a, a, a boat. It, it, almost impossible. You, it's much pre, much more preferable to have a template that in, 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 it, in, it, in it initializes all the all the applications and sets up the sets up the the parameters sorry the permissions but uh, because we have the pre-sale in the old DAO we only needed now um, the market maker and the formula which the formula is not actually a, an application it's something that it's a smart contract that it's out there uh, so because we don't have, we don't need the pre-sale and we don't need the the bankor formula. We have two applications, and one is very silly. So what I did is to mix them up, and now we just have one. Which um, I took all the tests from one and the other, and it is working. So and it it didn't change so much. So. Right now, it's just installing one application. Does it sound good? It is much better now. Yeah, of course. That's great. Because what we had before is a controller that was controlling the tap, the Bancor, uh, form, the Bancor Market Maker, and the Hatch. But right now, it was only controlling one of the applications, and uh, yeah. it was better to remove it. Amazing. That's great. Uh, so now, I guess, how close are we to being happy with the smart contracts, or what would we need to say, oh yeah, we don't need to make any changes to the bonding curves, and, and try to hunt down Adria again for... Or do I didn't know. Basically, what do we need to do for EBC? For, I know you just froze the hatch yesterday, but... Uh, or not yesterday, like last week. What do we need to do for uh, the ABC? 
The, because the migration tools is already done. And the new thing only needs a conviction voting. Actually, it depends. It depends on, on the thing tomorrow. If we decide that we just are upgrading a, a garden, it is going to be very easy because it's like it's a garden in which we replace the issuance ones with a, a bonding curve that it's only one application. Um, so once we have this first garden, that it is the same than a normal garden uh, with this boat initial vote that replaces these two applications. Then we have to migrate the funds from the old DAO and the tokens from the old DAO. So we, we on top of that, we need also to install the migration tools. They are, they are two applications. And once we have those two, then we migrate the funds and the tokens and we start the, the DAO. So it makes it things very easy. And if we decide to fork the template, then we just have to integrate those into the template, removing the, probably removing many things. For example, we will not need the liquidity or we will not need the, the issuance policy, different things that we can remove in order to add the, the bonding curve and the migration tool. So we are very close. Uh, it will just require to decide which path we take and do it. But it's only changing the template or creating a vote. So once we pick that, make that decision, then we just have to deploy, make some tests and deploy the, the commons upgrade, do the upgrade a couple times, see if there's anything we should change. What in that case will be blocking for sure is to have gardens on next next day. I mean, right now they are on Rinkeby and we uh, we will need for sure to uh, have the gardens on next day in order to do that. And you know, and, and working and everything is uh, going fine in order to do the, those changes and. And be able to migrate, but I think that they are, are almost ready. So, uh, yeah, to add on that, the yeah, the, actually, the only thing we are actually why, why we are not deploying to the site was to make sure that we fix every issue in this week or two of of testing, and then if anything come up, we we will just go ahead and and, and deploy. Hmm. Don't misunderstand me. I think that it's very good to not deploy before we check everything is is correct. For example, these um, these collateral things, uh, the, this, the collateral token and the sorry, uh, for Celeste, the the, ch the challenge action and these kind of things uh, to make sure that we have all the cases considered. Um, it, it, it probably it's going to need time. So yeah, the only thing is that for gar for commons, uh, we are depending right now on on having gardens on next day. We also have one one month. So <laughs> we also have one month in order to migrate. So I will not um, rise anything. Yeah, don't rush on our side, Gabby. Rush, give it. <laughs> rush for your other, your other. Uh... Good. One thing to have in mind, but it's not it's yet a, a question mark. But we are deploying, uh, we already deployed all the infrastructure of Aragon to Polygon, and I also deployed yesterday all to the Arbitum Thread testnet, and we are also having conversation if we want to support gardens on those networks as well uh, or is something that we want to consider it in the in the future because we because if we want to support garden we would, we would need to also have a instance of less those network as well and uh, so yeah this is still a 
question marks and at this point, but yeah, to have it in, in, in mind. Cool. No, I, yeah, that's, that's very interesting. I think we're committed to XDI for, for the time being. Um, scope on our side, like, don't, don't need to open the question. Okay, come on, calm down, Gabby. Uh, we're going to on XDI. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, definitely. But it is good to know. And of course, I can't see how we're be playing, be played with that sentence. Okay, uh, let's just go through the board and see what we need to work on this week for. Oh, actually, is maybe I'll just Paulo. Do you have any issues that you want to bring awareness to? A uh, big one is, of course, getting the demo. Out, but is yeah, there well, else? just the, you created an issue about uh, having a problem again with the when submitting the transaction that it says that it failed but actually it went through. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an issue that I discussed with Sam uh, earlier this week. Uh, I mean, last week. Uh, because uh, some people it's, it's having, are having this problem. Apparently, it's related to the endpoint they're using because so far there, there has not been any problem uh, when you use the OneHive uh, XDI endpoint. But uh, sometimes uh, I'm, I'm still not sure why. Like two of 10 transactions that you send to the hatch using a different endpoint, uh, it causes this uh, problem that uh, an error message uh, shows up uh, telling you that the transaction failed, but actually uh, it went through. So I was uh, thinking about uh, discuss, uh, bringing this problem to gardens tomorrow to see if everyone can, uh, uh, every, uh, someone maybe uh, has the same problem or, and they can share a solution or something. Because the alternative will be to recommend using the one hive uh, endpoint instead, but I think that's pretty ugly. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we shouldn't be having to tell people to use a specific endpoint with our application. But yeah, uh, I also wanted to ask you, Griff, maybe you can post it in, on the issue, the endpoint you're using to uh, to see if if, uh, 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 if it's related to the problem too. Honestly, I have all three endpoints in as an option, so I just to them. I have three endpoints for X, so I could. What, what, what's that? Uh, I couldn't hear you. I have three endpoints for X die, so I, I don't know which. Oh, them. oh. Well, don't worry about it. No problem. Um, the other option, if, if, the, if we don't have a good solution, change the error message. Please confirm your transaction went through, as opposed to it failed. Yeah. Yeah, that that would be the other solution. But uh, let's see if tomorrow maybe someone in one hive uh, has faced this problem too. And we can also catch this specific problem of um, transaction because it's a very specific thing that we yeah. can the the error message. And if it's that error message, then we just ignore this. Yeah, that, that was the first solution actually to check the error code and if if it match up with the with with our problem, then rule out that error. I'm not showing it. And the other thing is instead of hard coding the the endpoint in the in the front end, we can get the endpoint from the user. So. Internally, it uses the same endpoint than the the user. I still don't know what is going on with that. I mean, I mean the problem. Uh, we can do that because uh, we are using MetaMask to sign the transaction and send the transaction after. 
So uh, we don't have control over which endpoint uh, are going to be using to send the transaction because it, it totally depends on what the user has on um, MetaMask uh, set up, oh, you know? So you were saying when you were asking me what endpoint I was using, you mean in like the OneHive app, I can go to study and check the endpoint. Uh, the, I, I was asking app. like if you're uh, on MetaMask, uh, which specific endpoint you have. Uh, oh, okay. If you go to config, uh, settings, uh, on the no, uh, go back. Oh, no, I, I just want to. I have XDI. Oh, XDI sorry, <laughs> okay. and XDI one. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. But the thing is that, um, instead of changing the, the endpoint of the user, the app internally also uses its own endpoint. So maybe asking the user which, uh, not asking directly, but asking. MetaMask, hey, what endpoint are, are you using? And then use the same one to solve the issue. But well, uh, I, I don't think we should spend too much more time on this. It sounds like we're just going to move it to Garden to see what can we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, Paula, what's the vibe of? Do you think on when we when we get the final params on Tuesday, uh, which it's like 90% that we'll get the final params. If two are really close, we might have to have a run vote okay like if it's really neck and neck like it is now we might ha have to soft gov will have to have a discussion about whether or not like there's enough polarity that or that you know we just have to have a, a quick vote it could happen but it's it's not it's not likely to happen but this is why closing in soft right so uh it's not likely to happen. We'll probably have the params on Tuesday. And how quickly do you think we can deploy the dress rehearsal hatch? I mean, we just need to set the, those parameters on the uh, hatch template uh, config JSON. So it wouldn't take uh, more than, I mean, like minutes. If we if we have the parameters, we we only need to set it up on the hatch template and deploy a new a new DAO for the rehearsal. And is that really it only takes minutes. To deploy a I mean, DAO? we need to deploy the DAO, but it, it it doesn't take that long. And the super app. Uh, actually, uh, I mean that also will take minutes to redeploy it with the new. Um, DAO, but uh, Abby was working on making the uh, subgraph, uh, making some changes on the subgraph to so we detect a new DAO when it's deployed by the by the hatch template. So we don't have to manually redeploy it every time, every time. So we. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know, Fabi, uh, how are you doing with that with that issue? But if we have it on time, we we don't even need to to change the subgraph to redeploy redeploy it. Uh, okay, I was planning to send this uh, tomorrow. I have the changes implemented already, but I couldn't uh, test them. Uh, so yeah, if, uh, tomorrow it's a good uh, time. I will be sending everything. Okay, great. So uh, as I said, even if we don't have the that change on the subgraph, it wouldn't take long to deploy the rehearsal DAO, I think. So that's possible. Is it possible to deploy like two rehearsal DAOs, one with a, one that we're doing for the refund? I mean, I guess the refund won't even be deployed to um, whenever you want. But then the the dress rehearsal be deployed on Wednesday morning. Or Wednesday when you guys wake up, or I mean Tuesday night if you want to stay up all day, like Wednesday when you wake up. Yeah, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday morning we, we can have it. I think. Mm. Oh, if if it's if it's known on on Tuesday, we can have it on Tuesday. I think. Cool. Super cool. Uh, well, well, we already have all the yeah. days. We already have all the days sorted and stuff.
So that's yeah. that's really exciting. Uh, and then the other one is Audria. Any word on Audria? Any feedback from Code Review? Yes, uh, he talked with me on on Saturday, I think, and um, he was having problems with deploying the with um, testing it, and I give him some uh, instructions, but he's still doing that. He and he had some problems with the dependencies or, or something like that. I just I just told him npm sometimes it's failing use yarn, uh, but it should work because uh, I tested it again from scratch, and it was working. So probably he he will fi figure out how to test it. Cool. It, it must be a problem of of his settings or node or who, who knows. Uh, but it was not a big problem. Well, so we're at the top of the hour. I forgot that we also had the One Hive weekly updates. Should we, do you have any last words on that? Do you think? Uh, no worries, Griff. I was uh, gathering stuff. Uh, I'll bounce it with Sam on Wednesday morning. Okay. So, yeah, I'm good. And Sam, did you get the vote out? No, because uh, we don't have the data this week. I will talk with with Ivy about that. Okay. I don't know, when, but yeah, it will be if not today, tomorrow. Okay, just DM people uh, and get them to vote. Okay. We won't have our normal. But cool. Well, thanks, guys. Great call. And uh, we have we have a big one. This is the last demo. The dress rehearsal. It's very exciting. Uh, so we'll see. See how the hatch goes. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. See you guys. Bye.